This is a Prince Astro uh, astronomical telescope. This is exclusive to Dixon's, which was the distributor of these Japanese telescopes in the UK. It is a model number 330. It's quite common. And we are not going to unbox it. Uh, I've not used it, I've not opened it, so it was in storage. So let's see how it is. Okay, that's the way it looks. Uh, there is a polystyrene cover. Then it comes a kind of booklet. With a poster or kind of something like that. Oh, a moon map. So it does worth all of this, does worth this moon map. That's beautiful. And yet it's not finished. There is more publications here. There is another kind of poster again. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, that's the how the moon was explored. Beautiful, look at that. That's at least on its own five pounds probably. And then when we remove this, we come to the actual telescope. Let's see first what we have here. We have tripod. We have the optical tube assembly with the ultrasound mount attached. And yeah, we have the slow motion controls. We have a Barlow lens. We have a finder scope. We have eyepieces 15 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 25 millimeter. And we have all the screws for setting up. This is a lovely, oh, look at that. Star diagonal. And that's the tray for putting the eyepiece. So let's just start with the setting up of the tripod. Okay, now I have set it up. I don't think it has been used because there was no scratch marks on anywhere on the polystyrene packaging of it. All the components are there, they're new, they have not been touched. So this is a really rare specimen. Um, how it is, it is that it has a altosimut mount which works in the uh, altitude with this. And in the azimuth, it works with this simple design. It's a QC passed. Uh, focal lens is 110 millimeter. Usually there are one seven. Uh, sorry, focal lens 710 millimeter. Usually there are 700. And diameter obje objective is uh, 60 millimeter, made in Japan. And I can say that this is a good quality because there is a screw. It's a later model. There is a screw for the diagonal, also a screw for holding, two screws actually, holding the eyepiece. Eyepiece looks new. And uh, the same with the, the same with the um, viewfinder. I have to tighten it up. Yeah. And it seems you can actually adjust it by this uh, is a kind of like an eyepiece style. You can turn it in and uh, and uh, bring it to focus, which is rare in the for a diagonal for for a, a star finder finder scope. So quite interesting setup. Let me just use it and see. First, I will show you the lens. It has a rubber lens cap, which is really good. It's not plastic. I don't like a rubber. And this is the. Uh, the actual lens, as you can see here.
Find the rescue is 5 times by 24 mm, which is adequate. I'm using now the Celestron Silver Top 26 mm, one and a quarter inch eyepiece. I uh, use it with a adapter on this telescope, so you can actually see uh, how a modern uh, eyepiece will perform on this. I think that is actually good. Uh, um, the you know clarity and uh, you know resolution is nice on this. I can compare it with uh, some of the best uh, telescopes that I've used. You can see enough details. Although it's very dark actually at the moment, it's so dark. The sky is cloudy. It's near the sunset. Overall, I think it's a nice package. It's almost like new. So I'm looking forward to observe the Jupiter and the Moon with this and see how it, it performs on that. And uh, yeah, it has not been used. I must confirm. It has been just mint condition. Um, yeah, I opened it, but that's the way we have to do it. I'm not a collector. I'm an astronomer, amateur astronomer. Okay, I'm using the Prince Optics model 330 60mm um, aperture and uh, 710mm focal length. This is the F12 uh, refractor. It's on an altazimuth mount. I could see with the 8mm eyepiece, two cloudbursts of Jupiter, it was more clear with the 5mm eyepiece better. Now I'm looking at the um, plates, beautiful, really comfortable, lightweight, hassle-free telescope for these kind of observations. If you want to grab and go telescope, this is the perfect tool for that. It is wide enough that it covers all the plates in it, a little bit more, more even. So nice and easy and cheap. Because it is a vintage telescope, you can buy it really cheap for less than 30 pounds sometimes, or even cheaper. The trick is to use a uh, eyepiece adapter to from one and a quarter to one and a to 0 0.96 inch. So using the modern eyepieces really can achieve a lot. Is a 26 millimeter silver top plus all eyepieces celestial. Wow, on the Mars I can see details. <laughs> I can see some of those green albedo features. Two on the side and the middle there is just uh, orange also. Uh, I'm using the Mix NSLV 5mm eyepiece and I can see these details. I couldn't believe I can see this. But this shows that uh, when you're off the center there is some chromatic aberration but when you bring it to the halfway to the center you can actually see the details easy. This gobs really to round shape the planet. No chromatic aberration when it is near the center. Mars is so big at the same time. 